hello guys I'm back um, today I am going to show you how to close this um, food without using paper clips so here I will I have Totito's snack I have frozen food I have another snack that is open and a cereal that is open so today I will show you how to close this without using a clip all right okay first I'm going to show you how to close this frozen food see it's open I have to show you how to use close this one so all you have to do is lay it down make sure to push all the food all the way and then push all the air out start folding it you don't have to count how many folds you need the only thing is that when you fold at the end it has to be all the way to the end where the food ends okay and then once you fold it like this you turn and the opposite way you fold both ends like this okay I will show you you fold both ends like that that's where the opening when you fold the first time and the second one you flip it and then fold both ends inside then next you push the middle one and try, still try to grab the both ends and fold towards you and then push both ends out outward and once you push it you make sure you fix the middle there you go and then fold it and there you go that's your frozen food is already in place it's already closed okay and if it's kept coming out just keep on trying guys and try to make sure until you get it perfect okay now I'm going to show you the cereal this is the cereal sometimes I don't use the box because the box sometimes it takes um, space in your cupboard okay so all I have to do hopefully you see it let me move my camera okay so all you have to do again you push the food all the way okay and then try to fold it if it's a lot you, you can just fold it in the middle you won't take a lot of folds you don't need a lot of folding and then just keep on folding it guys like this it doesn't matter of the count of the fold it just the matter is that you fold it all the way to the end and make sure all the air is out okay here we go you can just do it like that if the if you want to put that this the air is there and then again you fold this end and fold this end see how i did it i fold this end and then once that's done you try to fold still hold it tight and try to flip this towards you and then push outward while you're still holding the end push outward and by doing that you just continue to fix the middle until it's in place okay that's how you do it until you get it perfect you just try an error guys until you get it right see it's like that it still looks like that what you do you can redo it again until you get it right And you do the same thing. Just keep on folding guys like this. Just keep on doing it until you get it perfect. There is no wrong and right. 
Okay. There you go. Again, you fold the end, both ends, and then the middle, fold it towards you, and then push the end outward. There you go guys, that's the cereal and now I will show you the chips, I'll show you the chips, if you have chips like this, you know, same thing, you try to lay it down, it doesn't matter which way, that way or the back, it doesn't matter, it's up to you, it doesn't matter what way, it's still the same thing, so you, all you do is push the food all the way and make sure to just take the air out if you can take the air out all the way it's okay and then start folding it until you reach the end of the food okay there it is and then again that's where the front this is the end you fold this end and fold the other end you meet them like that but that's the front where you fold it and then you flip and then fold the end and then the middle one you just push it push you're still holding the end and then what you do you move your hand and then just try to push the end and flip towards you try to flip towards you okay and while you're doing that, you need to fix the end to make sure it stays. This is all trial and error. If, if it messed up the first time, all you need to do is just keep on trying until you get it right. But once you get this thing, you know how to do this, it will just so easy to do it, guys. And now, there it is. That's the chips. See how clean it is? There you go. And now I will show you my animal crapper. See it's broken. Well, I don't know who did this, but again, this the only purpose of this is just to show you how to close this bag. But I will move this in my Ziploc so I don't ruin this food. Okay? Again, all you have to do is move the food all the way to the end well, I try to like move this on the end so it's closed let's see what happens and then again you just have to fold again make sure the air is out okay just like that until you reach the end you see it's getting tight until you reach the end of the food okay and then once that done again you flip you fold 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 both ends and then try to fold again and push the end push the end and try to make sure to fix the middle part okay and then there it is see how nice that is it's so tight that way when you fold this make sure it's all the way to the end to make it tight that's where my animal cracker is see it's already close to but the bag is ruined it, this is just only the purpose of showing you how to close a snack bag without using a clip it's saving money again so there it is guys, there's all the food I fold and you can also use, um, if you have frozen food like vegetable that you don't want to use the whole thing, you can do the same thing like this. It doesn't matter how much the food is, you can still fold it like this, you see, there you go, and this is the frozen one. Then you just put it in your freezer. And the food is just is still preserving. And there it is, guys. I hope you like my video. 
and don't forget to subscribe and like and share okay thanks i hope you learned something today guys and if you have any question just comment down below and until next time again thank you and stay safe and healthy bye bye